Hello friends, welcome to a new video. In this one, I'm going to try my first art challenge. I'm going to try to paint with the cheapest watercolor I was able to find. Uh, this one. As you can see, the price is like 240 um, euros, like two dollars. And these are the typical school watercolors for children. Um, I'm trying to, to paint a landscape with them. And I'm, I'm doing this because, first of all, because I think it's going to be fun for me and for you, but also because I want to prove that you don't need super fancy art materials to begin to paint. You don't need to spend a lot of money, especially if you are starting. Uh, some people are scared that they have to spend a lot of money and, and they don't know if they are going to like the medium, for example, if they are going to want to continue painting in the future. So they don't want to spend a lot of money at the beginning. And I want to show you that it's not necessary. You can paint with not very expensive materials, at least at the beginning. And then if you like the technique or if you are in love with the medium, you can continue. Of course, if you have the money to buy expensive art materials, they are super high quality and of course they are so much better than the cheaper ones. But if you want to only begin or try a medium or only have fun, these other art materials are also very useful. Not this one that is for children, but the not so very expensive and good quality too. But today we are going to use this to have a little fun and see what happens. I'm filming this before the painting. As you can see, the box is not open. So maybe it's gonna be a disaster and I don't know yet, <laughs> but I hope not. Um, if it is a disaster, you are going to have fun also, so <laughs> I'm not worried about that. So let's try then and see what happens. Let's go. <laughs> Oh my god, the first impression is terrible. The colors 
have very little pigment you have to insist and insist to get a little color also they don't blend between them and you can't work wet on wet they have a very plastic texture like mm, acrylic but not <laughs> and I think they are probably the worst watercolors I have ever tried in my whole life <laughs> so I'm going to try to do the next layers um, wet on dry because wet on wet is impossible <laughs> and see if I can get something not very terrible <laughs> let's go So final thoughts, don't do this to yourself, <laughs> they are terrible, horrible, mm, I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> I think maybe the result is worse for me because my way of painting, I paint very wet on wet and these watercolors don't hold up to that. So maybe if you paint very dry and you let the layers dry between one coat and the next one, you can get something of these paintings. But for wet painting, it's not worth it. Don't try it. <laughs> I have another complaint. <laughs> and is the smell. It's um, super plastic, very, very unpleasant. It's like smelling plastic uh, all the time and, and it's disgusting, really. <laughs> so if you want to try watercolor and you don't want to spend a lot of money in, in the paints, you don't have to use this, of course. There is um, something they call the student grade in all the brands, I think. And it's a cheaper version of the high quality paints in, in every brand. So you can use that to try the medium to, to know if you like painting watercolor or not. This experiment has been a little disappointing to me. So I think I'm going to try to do another version with my usual colors, my usual paints. To remember myself that actually I know how to paint watercolor <laughs> and not leave you and leave me with this feeling of failure. So let's try it again with high quality paints and let's enjoy the painting this time. <laughs>
So this is the final result. The paper is the same, also the brushes and my hand is also the same. The only difference is the paints. These are my usual paints. And you can see the difference. Look at the clouds, for example, how in this one they blend with the sky and they have the beautiful soft edges. And also the, vib the vibrance of the colors. These are more dull. And also the intensity. You can't get this intensity of color with these paints. It's impossible. So that's all for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed. Even if it didn't go as planned at the beginning. <laughs> but let me know if you want to see more videos like this one. Trying art surprise cheaper or not and see you very soon in the next one bye